Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a Transformers animated figure, and it's Shockwave. Oh, Shockwave. One of my favorite characters, and I really did dig this guy from the series itself. As you can see, the box is still mint. He hasn't been opened. Um, I actually got this guy years ago. Um on a reduced price and here here it is and this reflects the time um this is back when well voyager class figures were 20 bucks so 21.99 it was reduced on sale for 16 dollars um i've had this figure that long in package so i really can't take him out i, I would feel bad if i took him out uh, so he's going to stay in the box but that's okay because i have this guy to actually do the robot review with so yeah that's not a problem at all. So let's take a look at the box itself and we can actually do a comparison of what the standard release version looks like, the colors, uh, versus what the uh, Target exclusive purple version looks like. So looking at the package itself, it is classic Transformers animated uh, box design. I can say that now, classic, and this is what? Five, six years old now, um, if not longer. Uh, we got Shockwave. It, you know, he's got four modes. It was a shame they did not put Shockwave on one side and Long Haul on the other because this is really a slick figure. I do like this guy. Um, reminds me a lot of the Punch Counter Punch uh, and Double Dealer um, type thing. They really, really captured it and it was really awesome. Um, he's a level three Transformer. Uh, we've got, again, here's the top of the package one more time, kind of a wide shot um, with the artwork there. Here's a side view. Uh, Shockwave goes undercover as Autobot Long Arm. Um, we get this really cool animated artwork of him with his name, which is pretty awesome. Here is the side Decepticon Shockwave. Um, here are some also available. So you get uh, Skywarp and Grimlock were available at the time. Um, under the package, you also get. Um, Blazing Lockdown, there was Blur, you also get Dinobot Swoop and Swindle as the deluxe figures. Here is back of the package, wide shot, um, with both robot modes and vehicle modes. Uh, so here's Shockwave, here is Longarm, Longarm turned into the crane, Shockwave turned into the tank, and uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Now I will say, this color scheme is made for long arm, and we'll kind of, here he is there, um, because that's the colors uh, he appeared in on the show. And there's his little crane mode down there. Um, here is Shockwave. And Shockwave did appear in this color scheme on the show, but he also um, goes purple at the end when the gig is up, uh, so to speak. So there he is in his tank mode and his robot mode just doesn't look quite right uh, because he's not purple. Um, but there's the bio if you want to pause and read that for the guy. You can. Now, looking in the package, I do like that kind of metallic teal color they got going on there. And it is also visible uh, on the barrel of the tank, which is really, really nice. Um, and you can kind of see it down there at the bottom. Uh, underneath the barrel as well. I really do like those colors. Uh, in fact, I may have to get one of these loose just to uh, to, to be able to hold and, and, and look at that on the shelf. List absolutely gorgeous. Now, the one thing that is a drawback to this figure I've seen in other reviews is the fact it's got a painted Decepticon logo uh, right there because you can see it in the uh, robot mode. And I'll explain where you can see that once we actually get the figure into the robot mode. So let's go ahead and get Shockwave and Longarm in their robot modes and see how they look. All right, so here we have Shockwave and Longarm in their robot modes. As you can see, I have two of them um, and they're both purple. I got uh, one figure from a guy off the Transformers auction block on Facebook uh, named Rocco. So 
Thanks, Rocco. Good job, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, it was $16 shipped, uh, which was nice. The only issue was that he was missing a cannon, so I went to go look for just a cannon piece, and I found another one of these guys with cannon for $20. Uh, on eBay, so I went ahead and, and, and that was free shipped, so I, I went ahead and got that. So I got both figures, uh, one with the cannon, so I can complete uh, the figure for 36 bucks. So not a bad deal. I really do like that. So it gives me the opportunity to show you both simultaneously. Now, um, I really love the fact that this guy can switch, like he did in the cartoon, from shockwave to long arm and from the tank to the crane and that's just really really nice it was really slick how they did it and they did a really good job of course you're going to get this figure for shockwave not for long arm it's just kind of cool that he can go into the long arm mode um let's take a look at uh long arm first now the the key difference is on transforming him. When you pull him out of the tank slash crane mode because it's really about the same um you're going to Keep the tread facing forward for long arm, and you want the treads down around his legs. So when you turn him into shockwave, you're going to spin the legs around at the knees and then pull the treads up around his hips to kind of give him a little bit more height uh, looking, whereas long arm's a little bit more squat. And then the other thing is, obviously, for shockwave, you're going to pull these red bits out up here on his shoulders. Um, long arm, you're going to leave them in there. And then with shockwave, you're going to pull his arms down and twist the um, back piece, back of the arm around so that you can get his fingers, um, his little, little tri-finger things going on there, which look really, really wicked. Um, and then to get the head transformed, it's really easy. All you have to do is pull the head up and it automorphs the face uh, for shockwave there, which is really, really nice. And then you just flip his little uh, antenna up, his little horns up, antlers or whatever they are, uh, to get the shockwave look. And that's really about it. And then the Autobot and Decepticon symbol just kind of rotate around. You just kind of flip it, which is really, really nice. I mean, that was just super slick how they did that. I do appreciate it. Now, um, let's take a close-up of long arm here um, and kind of get a, a good look at him. So here it's long arm. Um, really good job on the uh, face sculpt. I really do like it. He's, of course, in the wrong colors. He is in purple, which he should be in the blue and the silver and black, but that's okay. Uh, you kind of get the point there. Um, yeah, I mean, he, they did a really, really good job with him overall. I really do like him. Now, uh, his weapon, the crane piece, stores on the back like this crane slash cannon and the reason that the other figure is kind of an issue is because you can see the cannon hanging down here um, the Decepticon logo is 100% visible when he's in this Autobot mode so that does this this version kind of eliminates that because there is no Autobot Decepticon logo except for this rotating one that's on the chest uh, which is really nice uh, so yeah there is good old long arm. We'll just kind of set him there. And then here is Shockwave, kind of close up. As you can see, they did a really good job with him. Um, the nice thing about this version, uh, for some reason, the other one you can see kind of uh, on the package at least, and you can, there we go, uh, they kind of, you can kind of see through it, but I don't know. I've never had a problem with it that on this particular figure, he always has just looked really just, you know, straight black, which is really cool. Again, really nice. I like how there's the silver paint pick up there along with the red. Really cool stuff. Um, I love his little his little fingers are very poseable. Uh, very cool. Very wicked and evil looking. I do appreciate that. Um, this guy really really does look nice i do like it the other cool thing is you can give him his gun so if you take long arms so long arm to the side here so here is his crane you want to transform the gun just kind of flip it up like that so that you get this cannon piece and then um you can fold these pieces up like so and then i just kind of leave this piece the way it is and then you clamp his gun as you knock his antlers down on there. And now Shockwave 
has his big cannon, which is really cool. I like whoop, that look, and it's heavy. <laughs> um, he will hold it up straight a little bit, it, but it does wear on the joint. Uh, but it does look cool. I like it. Um, yeah, he just wants to flop it straight down. Um, I mean, it, it, you at least get, can get the cannon mode out of it there, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I really do like the figure. I highly recommend finding one if you can. So let's look at these guys in their vehicle modes and see what we think. All right, so here we have Shockwave in his tank mode. And it's okay. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it's not a really great mode. It's a standard science fiction H-Tank. I'm not a fan of those. I never have. Uh, this figure, they could have done something with it. You could have had fold-out panels to hide more up here, and you could have flipped these legs in, I think, uh, to actually get rid of the whole H-Tank look, which is unfortunate. However, it does turn into a crane as well for long arm, and I'll show you why. Uh, just to kind of... Uh, differentiate this one versus the one I had in box. Again, this is the Target exclusive. It is purple to mirror match the uh, at the end of the series for Transformers Animated. Shockwave goes and, uh, you know, devotes himself to Megatron 100%. At the end, you know, he finally gets to serve him in his true colors, and he switches his colors to purple, G1 style, as a, a, a fanboy nod, which was really cool. It was awesome that we actually got a figure out of this. But key color differences, aside from the purple, on the tank mode here, uh, the standard had a, that metallic teal going on here, here where the red paint pick is, as well as on the barrel, um, which looks really, really nice. Now, I wish they would have done the metallic red here to mirror match the other one. I think that would have looked really, really smooth. But is what it is. Uh, and, and it's an okay tank. I mean, it rolls. It looks pretty decent. The barrel um, is pretty impressive looking. It really doesn't do too terribly much. You can rotate the barrel up, but that's really for more for transformation to get him into the crane mode for long arm. So let's go ahead and get him into that mode and see what that looks like. All right, so get him into crane mode. Basically, you're going to fold the tank treads down and fold the legs down and kind of flatten them out. Um, and then you're going to rotate the barrel up here, and then you're going to um, push this button, and it's supposed to kind of flip back. This one doesn't really do it much anymore, but it spring loads back, and then there you have his crane. Uh, so yes, that's pretty cool. I do like that. Um, looks pretty nice. Again, I think it's because it's all purple. This looks better in the um, standard version because that's long arms colors, but it's still pretty cool. And it, you know, it gets the job done. And it's got that kind of Transformers animated Cybertron, all the um, Autobots, and they had these, uh, what Caked Up calls spider tanks, where they kind of sit on their treads upright. And, you know, Ironhide was like that, Ratchet was like that. Um, we saw uh, who else was like that. I think Braun was like that. Uh, so all the kind of big heavy trucks uh, had this kind of spider tank mode thing going on, and this mimics that. So definitely cool stuff. Is this a figure you want to pick up? Absolutely you need this figure uh, in your Transformers animated collection for sure. I mean, it's Shockwave. If you can find the Target exclusive, I would recommend picking him up uh, definitely just so you can have Shockwave in his purple colors. Um, if you really, really like the fact that he can switch between both, then you may want to look for a standard version so you can have him in long arm prime mode, um, sitting next to the purple shockwave. I think that would look really cool on the shelf, and I think I may actually end up doing that, um, so I don't have to cannibalize my Minton package figure. So, there he is, shockwave, the target exclusive and long arm prime plus the unopened standard version. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, share my videos. And as always, look for more videos in the future.